So I'm insert inserting this video as video 2 of the bathroom remodeling project and I didn't show this earlier on in the project and that's why I'm making this video too. What I'm showing right now on my screen is a bathroom remodeling budget that I created using a Microsoft Excel. Um, so what I'm showing really here is how much is, I thought it was going to cost me to do this project and then uh, how much it actually will you know, ended up costing me or will end up costing me on this project. Uh, so what, how I've done this or set this spreadsheet up is on the left hand side there I've got categories so in this column here I've got categories of of items like for example walls and I've listed all the materials and any tools that I don't have on hand already that I'll need to buy, need to buy in order to do uh, uh, the walls portion of this project and then if I if you go down more, there's things like lighting. So I list the vanity, lighting there, light bulbs, uh, exhaust fan and light, recess lighting. So I just kind of section this out so that I have a good idea how much, you know, what first of all what I need, and then also how much it's going to cost for what I need. So this section here is tile. Go down some more. There's toilet. List all the the accessories for the toilet vanity and continue on. I have a section called miscellaneous where I just kind of threw things in there as I, as they came up and may end up putting those in a different section later but for now I just put them in miscellaneous and then at the bottom I have a subtotal tax and total so I'm going to go back up to the top of the spreadsheet and this is you know really something that you can do you know pretty simply in Microsoft Excel if you don't have experience with it you know you can go online and watch some videos and then uh, or even if you if you don't want to do something like this, at least it's good to have a budget written down somewhere that you can track and make sure you stay on track so you don't go go crazy and spend money on and and go over budget. Uh, so this column here, I've it, I've called it the unit cost estimate column. And as an example, for drywall, one sheet of drywall will cost me twelve dollars as an estimate just based on prices that I've seen at like Lowe's or Home Depot which is most likely where I would have gotten drywall but I'll talk about that in a second uh, and then quantity so I'm saying I'll need six sheets of drywall at twelve dollars a piece which extends the extended cost of that would be seventy two dollars so twelve times six equals seventy two so that's where the extended cost comes in uh, and then this column here tracks whether I've actually purchased the item already or not. And so I'll, I'll go in and periodically update this. I haven't been doing this religiously on this project, but um, I, I, I would like to stay on track with that just because I know later on I have a second bathroom to do and I want to go back and look and see how close or how far off I was on my estimates. Uh, it's just so I have a better idea the second time around. So whether I've purchased the item or not is listed here and then this is the actual cost in the case of drywall like I was just mentioning I would talk about that uh, I actually end up sp ended up spending hundred and forty dollars on drywall because I got paperless drywall instead of the green board or the standard drywall just because I want to have that bathroom be a little more mold resistant and I don't want to have to deal with uh, cleaning up mold issues again so I decided to go with the paperless drywall and I got that as, at a supply house. I think it was $23 a sheet for that. So that's the actual cost there. So, and I'll just keep filling this in for each one of the items on here. You know, and then if, if I go along and I realize, uh oh, you know, I forgot something, I can just add that to this spreadsheet. Uh, and then down at the bottom here. So, so far, the subtotal is uh, twelve twenty-three. That's how much I've spent to this point, and then uh, the tax is about ten percent tax, and then the total. That's how much money total that I've spent, including tax and materials and any tools that I've bought. Um, and I actually probably have spent a little bit more than that. There's certain miscellaneous items that I really haven't tracked. You know, maybe some drywall screws, screws or. Uh, some other tool that maybe small tool that I bought for like four or five dollars that I haven't actually tracked on here so that's that spreadsheet 
so again, you know, it's really, I think it's a good idea to keep track of these things just so you know, you know, just so you don't go crazy and, and start spending money on things that, that aren't necessary. Uh, that's just my opinion. You know, people can do what they want, obviously. So, the second spreadsheet is a task list, and I borrowed this task list from the internet. I, I looked around and found a few task lists out there, and I just kind of took bits and pieces of those task lists and created my own. Uh, so I started with the first task, which was to remove the bathroom door, trim and sink, and whether I completed that, yes or no. I just put a simple check mark there. Uh, demoing the walls was next, did that. Demoing the ceiling was next, did that. So now I'm into the part of actually replacing the plumbing and moving plumbing around in the bathroom. And I didn't put the subfloor repair on here. That was one of the major projects that I took undertook uh, at the beginning of this whole thing. And I didn't include it on here. I probably should have. Uh, because I may have some subfloor issues in the bathroom upstairs when I get to that bathroom. Um, it won't, they won't be as extensive as the, the problems I, I encountered downstairs. But I probably still should put them on here. Uh, and if even if I don't you know, end up having to deal with subfloor issues, I can just cross it off. But, you know, some contingencies are good to have on a, on a task list like this. So, uh, and then by the time I'm finished, all these items should be checked off and I should have a completed bathroom. Uh, and the reason why I like this task list or having a task, task list in general is that it keeps, you know, things in order. And, you know, so for, so for example, if I go along and I, decide, you know what, I'm going to put drywall up now and then I forget that I haven't roughed in electrical for uh, the vanity, then I'd have to go in and, you know, cut into drywall and, and that'd just be a whole mess that I wouldn't want to create for myself. So um, that's why I have this task list here. And what I'll do is probably just print this out and just tack it up on a wall in the bathroom so I can look at it and refer to it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.